She wants to dive deeper. They just need a conversation starter. Everyone's news all in one place. The Papers, weeknights at 10.30 and 11.30 on the BBC News Channel. This is BBC News. I'm Matthew Amrady Waller. Reports of street fighting in the centre of Mariupol in the south of Ukraine. The city's mayor says rescuers still can't get to hundreds of survivors trapped beneath a shelled theatre building. Dozens have been killed in an attack on a Ukrainian military base in the southern city of Mikhailiv. Ukraine's President Zelensky tells Russia to join meaningful peace talks or face catastrophic losses. I want everyone to hear me now, especially in Moscow. It's time to meet, time to talk. It is time to restore territorial integrity and justice for Ukraine. Russia says it used hypersonic missiles which travelled five times the speed of sound to attack an underground ammunition warehouse in western Ukraine. Former British Prime Ministers Gordon Brown and Sir John Major joined calls for a Nuremberg-type trial tribunal to investigate Vladimir Putin. And a convoy of 18 fire engines sets off from southern England with kit and supplies for firefighters in Ukraine. Welcome here to BBC News. President Zelensky has called for comprehensive peace talks with Russia, saying the time had come for a meeting to end the war. In the south of the country, street fighting is reported in the centre of Mariupol after weeks of continuous bombardment. Well, efforts are continuing to rescue hundreds of people trapped inside the basement of a theatre that officials say was bombed by Russia on Wednesday. Our correspondent Jonah Fisher has sent this report. Mariupol is Russia's warning to the rest of Ukraine. For more than two weeks, this city of several hundred thousand has resisted. Russia's response has been to surround it and destroy it. Local officials say more than 2,000 people have died and 90% of the buildings have been damaged in some way. In Kharkiv, it's a similar story. In the first few days of this war, the Russians tried to drive into Ukraine's second city. They were repelled and now Kharkiv is being targeted by shelling. Incredibly, this man emerged almost unscathed after a university building was hit. There were two strikes, Vladislav says. The second one was above us and I fell down and covered my 